In ancient texts, Nephilim were the gods of the heavens come down to earth. Uh, I suppose this is defined more as a transcendence of human consciousness, change. All the inspiration for anything I've ever done or written has always, always retained within our music. And it's just, I mean, a lot of these ideas are based on the, the ancient shaman uh, concepts. I think the two strongest forces which we, we have to come up against is, is life and death. So this recurring cycle is always transcended for our music. Musically, we're developing. We've been developing all the time, you know, and we're always trying to explore different territory with um, musical ideas. We don't like to kind of repeat ourselves. As a band and as a, an individual, we've never followed any formulas or systems, any other people's formulas or systems. We've invented our own and like the knowledge we've gained from our experiences. So yes, we do have our own philosophies, but they're not being inflicted upon other people. if we can interpret some of the original inspiration of the emotions into our music and people feel the same way as we did when we created this, this music, this sound, then that's an achievement in our eyes. Step outside self, outside self. There haven't been any major changes with our band. We haven't changed any, we're not the kind of band to like change direction. I mean, we've seen fashion and trends come and go in the music industry, in our country especially, but it doesn't, doesn't affect the way we go about our work. plays a strong part in our live performances. Um, as far as the studio goes, in them areas, it's a completely different world again. You have to kind of compensate for the fact that there's no audience there and that initial natural atmosphere isn't there. We have to reproduce it in other, other ways in the studio. that our original intentions were to be able to play live and reproduce what we created in the studio in a live performance. I think it's the combination of us and our audience, the chemical reaction, which makes us quite special in what we do. I think it's something to be experienced and explained. I 
whole show itself is it's quite unique, whereas the audience, the, the very dedicated audience that we have, are take like quite, quite a major part in our shows. I think that there's, there's certain um, videos we've done which reflect the whole idea of Fields of the Nephilim quite well, especially Psychonaut. Pray now. I feel that the music and the videos should run in parallel. Visuals should represent the music. As opposed to just promoting a band as, a, as an image and using it just for the purpose of you, you know, exploiting people's egos. All the storylines to videos have been interpreted from my lyrics, so there's many different interpretations because there's many different parallels running through all of my lyrics. Our visuals, the visual side of what we do uh, in any form, whether it's the way we present ourselves on stage or whether it's to do with the artwork I prepare and any of the symbolism we use, it's all, you know, it's what we want. I'm still using the same source of inspiration, which I've, all, I've always used, so it'd take a lifetime to sort of fulfill. I'll never reach the end of that. <laughs>